Good morning. It is day three here in Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, yesterday I ended the vlogging experience a little early because after a little bit of shopping and riding my bike around Copenhagen, which was amazing, I highly recommend. I was a little hesitant to rent a bike since I'm not used to the cycling culture here in Copenhagen, but it's really easy as long as you know how to ride a bike. Normally I say no to riding bikes without a helmet, but in this case I was in the middle of the city and I you know couldn't find a place to rent a bike and i rented a bike through a company called donkey republic easily just download an app rent a bike it's the first time i rented a bike with by downloading an app so it was a first time experience for me that was really cool i used to ride a bike to the little mermaid and then around the town which was amazing because i got to see more than what i would see by foot so that i highly recommend it when you have the chance and after touring around the city a little bit, enjoying the view of the waters. I went back to the hostel to finish editing part one of Voyage in Stockholm. I'll put in a link in the description in case if you haven't seen it yet. I posted it like last night, very late. I'm about to head over to breakfast and coffee. Always good to have good coffee. Normally on a beautiful day like this, I want to stay outside, but since it's a little chilly, I'm going to do something inside, at least until the tower is open for us to go up and move. is absolutely stunning from the outside it's dark gray brown and not so exciting but when you come inside your breath will be taken away i promise you that what i love about this room is that it reminds me so much of beauty and the beast the library is absolutely stunning to that one friend who loves beauty and the beast this room is meant for you <laughs> it's so beautiful that even the prime minister uses this room in order to hold lunch and dinners with special guests i can see why it's absolutely amazing i love the gold interior the ceiling is on point like my goodness So what's so cool about these tapestries, not only the colors, the bright colors you see on them, is that they represent the, let's say, milestones of Denmark throughout the years. Like they talk about the times of the Vikings, the times of the rebellion, even with the royals of today and the royals of the future. It is actually pretty interesting. They also mention about Denmark's role in World War I and World War II. And I gotta say, in every palaces I've been to, I have never seen tapestries like this before. This is completely unique. I was really surprised on how bright and colorful they are and how much story they tell. So if I had to pick my favorite tapestry, it would have to be this one. It talks about the history of the Vikings and there's even King Harold Bluetooth himself. Out of all the rooms I've seen so far, I think the tapestry room will be my all-time favorite. I cannot get over what I've just seen and what I've learned as well. What was really cool is that there was an app that explains the different parts of the tapestry in order to learn more of the history of Denmark. To be honest, when I knew there was gonna be a tapestry room, I was expecting tapestries like this. Yeah, a little more ancient looking, old, kind of fading, but no, I'm happy about the tapestries there are today. Makes the palace more unique. I'm gonna continue looking through this castle, see what else there is. I feel like I can be here all day. This is probably one of my favorite palaces or castles I've ever been to. And that says a lot. Now I just bought myself postcards looking like the tapestry themselves. I'm gonna go up the tower since now it's open to see an awesome view of the city before it gets cloudy again.
Okay, so I would have to agree with Jared on this. This is probably the best view you can get of Copenhagen. I think the only difference between the two is that when I went to the round tower, there was a little bit of fog, so you couldn't really see much. Today, it's a clear blue sky, so you can see everything. But I think, to me, this might be a little higher. And of course, it's in a different part of the city, so yeah, a different area, different angles of every building, every street, and so forth. So I'm just walking through the royal stables next to the castle. It's pretty amazing seeing all the carriages that were used for different reasons like holidays, weddings, crownings of the new king or queen. I love horses and these horses are massive, very beautiful. This white, brown, gray, absolutely beautiful. Today is my last day exploring Copenhagen. I'm currently on a canal tour, seeing the city from the waters. I do have like part of a day today since I have to go to the airport tonight. It's always sad going back home, but at the same time I'm excited to go home because that means the next adventure will start soon. Let's enjoy this tour, shall we? And that will conclude my vlog series here in Copenhagen, Denmark. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to comment the things you liked, you didn't like, something that I've missed I should look forward to the next time I come back to Copenhagen, which I'm hoping will be in the new future. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can join me in my future adventures around the world. Also, be sure to follow me on social media. The links are in the description below. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you next flight.